it's uh, Renee with Cancer Size with Renee B. Um, coming at you. It's Friday, so today marks, yeah, two weeks ago from today I had my surgery. So, um, I'm two weeks out, so that means I get to take my supplements that I couldn't take before. So, um, yeah, so that means I can start taking my vitamin E again, and I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that it'll get into my system within a week so that I start um, having less hot flashes and stuff at night because that was helping, so I was still taking my vitamin B. Um, this hair, this is what my hair looks like when I get out of the shower. It's exactly what it looks like when I get out of the shower. Isn't that funny? It's all curly and super gray and... Um, yeah, I don't know. It's in this awkward, weird stage because the calyx that I have and stuff. But hope you guys are having your coffee with me too. Um, anyway, this is my hair after the shower. Um, so Tuesday I went to the doctor and uh, I was a little concerned about being able to get my drains out um, because the left one was still pulling quite a bit of fluid and I mentioned that. And uh, so... I'm really thankful though they did pull both of them, so that was great, and I got to take the girdle off, which was wonderful, but uh, the girdle did add a lot of support, so there's times I've been tempted to put it back on because my abs are really sore, and if you could see the bruising, it's pretty, it's better than it was, but it was pretty bad. So it scared my husband, and my girlfriend Julie was like, oh my gosh, you're so bruised down there, but it happens as part of the fat grafting process. Uh, I still have to wear the surgical bra, and I still have to wear the ace bandage, and I have to wear the ace bandage up higher on this um, right side because um, it's all swollen and puffy there. So it's not really even. And so she wants me to wear it up higher until tomorrow I get to take it off Sunday morning. Sunday I get to wear a sports bra. I get to wear a real bra on Sunday. Um, and she said if it still hadn't gone down, then I can start massaging that area and try to get it to go down. So, um, you know, it is what it is. I don't care if it's a little puffy and a bit being puffy up there and looking a little uneven. I just want to be done. Um, I opted out of getting the nipple put on because I don't want to have to have any more surgeries because that requires another surgery and I just I just don't want to do any more surgeries. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I, I just want to be done with all of this and so um, I'm excited though because this is one step closer. Um, I'm at that stage now like my hair where it's awkward. I'm at this stage now where um, my mind is still is very awake and clear because I'm not on the pain meds anymore. Um, I'm not my mind is like, well, you don't have your drains in and the girdle anymore, so you're not really, you know. Uh, but my body's like, yeah, but you still have to take it easy. And so I'm at that awkward stage in recovery where you want to get up and do more stuff, and you're allowed to do a few more things, um, but you still tend to realize that after 10 minutes of some type of activity, like walking around or just even making my breakfast or whatever. I was like, okay, now I need to sit down on the couch and watch TV for an hour because I'm exhausted. Um, so I've been trying to do projects to keep my hands busy at least because my hands are good. So I'm making wreaths um, for work um, with materials from work that we usually throw away. But I bought these wire wreaths like this and I've been taking these and tying them on it takes hours and hours. I've only done one wreath so far and I've only got like pfft, not even a third of the second one started and I need to make five. And it takes about 800 of those little strips that I'm tying on with ribbon to make the wreath. But the one I did get, get done, I like it. So I know it's going to be okay. So I got that going to try to like keep my hands busy. So I'll listen to music yesterday while I did that for a couple hours or I'll probably have a movie or a television show on, you know, like binge watch Gilmore Girls or something while I'm doing it today because I still need to take it easy. Um, I injured myself a little bit yesterday because I was trying to sit up on the couch and I used my elbow to push myself up and my body weight's too much. So I kind of pulled my arm a little, but I'm okay. There's no swelling down there and everything seems to be okay, but it's just, uh, yeah. Anyway, so those are some of my updates. Um, so drains are out, girdles off, get to wear a real sports bra on Sunday. It means I'm allowed to start driving on Sunday. Um, I'm allowed to start doing my arm exercises and stuff. We're up a crawling up against the wall. 
Um, lifting is totally tolerated by what I can tolerate, which is what I preach on this website all the time about listening to your body, listening to your body so you know what you can and cannot lift. I'm still not allowed to run or jump rope or do aerobics and things like that, but I can um, start working out again on Sunday. So Sunday's kind of a magical day for me. Um, I'm excited about it. And through all of this, and I hope I've conveyed that over this last year and everything that I've done, that um, life is too short. You need to do things and go out and have fun and make new friends and try new experiences because you don't know when it's going to happen again. Um, you don't know when your body's going to tell you, hey, you need to stop or something like that. And so you can't let those things um, bring you down. Hang on, I gotta check my time here. So, cause I'm, I'm doing this live, which I have no audience for right now, but I'm also putting it on my Cancer Size YouTube page, which will link up to my Cancer Size website. Oh, that's the other thing. I also did my very first newsletter with my website and I suck at it, but um, practice makes perfect. So I don't know, we'll figure it out. I couldn't get the pictures to go rotate right for me correctly. Um, I had a hard time using their tool system that I bought through the uh, website page that I use. I, I don't understand how their tools work because I'm IT dumb. So anyway, um, I was just checking in, letting you know how I'm doing. Um, you know, my mom always says she loves to hear my voice and see my videos so that she knows I'm doing okay. So hey mom, how are you? Um, I am so thankful and grateful to be here. I'm thankful and thankful and grateful for those of you who follow Cancer Size. I like when you guys work out with me, when we get to start working out for season three here coming up. Um, I hope I'm doing some good. Um, I hope I'm being an encouragement and I really hope that you get inspired to keep moving and keep going forward if you have a cancer diagnosis and you're going through treatments. Um, so anyway, share, tell your friends if you like it, if don't, if you don't, don't share it, but don't tell me cause that hurts my feelings. And, uh, yeah. So chemo hair, bandage is wrapped, clothes. I don't know. Nothing is comfortable. Hot flashes are miserable still. I don't know what I'm going to do with clothes. Clothes right now. I just look at them. I just can't. So yeah, it'd be interesting when I have to go back to the real world. <laughs> so, <laughs> I love you guys. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you later. Bye.